The third type of validity associated with a measurement instrument is construct validity. In order to get a better understanding about the construct validity, let us first understand, what is a construct? A construct can be understood as an attribute, proficiency, ability, or skill that happens in a human brain and is defined by established theories. For example, overall English language proficiency is a construct it exists in theory and has been observed to exist in practice. With this background, now let us look at what is construct validity. Construct validity is the degree to which a test measures an intended hypothetical construct. In other words, it refers to how well the construct is transformed into a functioning and operating reality. Regardless of how one defines construct validity, there is no single best way to demonstrate the construct validity for a measurement instrument. In most cases, you will be required to demonstrate the construct validity for your measure from a number of perspectives. In a very broad sense, construct validity can be best demonstrated through two construct validation processes. Testing for convergence across different measures of the same thing, and testing for divergence across different measures of related but conceptually distinct things. The first process is referred to as convergent validity, and the second process is referred to as divergent validity. Before we look at how to establish convergent and divergent validity, it is important to learn that they work together. Neither one alone is sufficient for establishing construct validity. This means that if you can't demonstrate that you have evidence for both convergent and discriminate validity, then only by definition, you have demonstrated that you have evidence for construct validity. Let us now look at how to establish convergent and discriminate validity. In order to establish convergent validity, it is required to show that the measures of constructs that theoretically should be related to each other are, in fact, observed to be related to each other. For example, if there are five items of a self-esteem construct and all the items show high intercorrelation, we can theorize that all the five items reflect the idea of self-esteem. Next, we look at divergent validity. In order to establish divergent validity, it is required to show that the measures of constructs that theoretically should not be related to each other are in fact observed to not be related to each other. For example, if there are four items out of which two items reflect the construct of self-esteem while the other two items reflect the construct of locus of control. If we have discriminate validity, the relationship between the items from different constructs should be very low. In other words, if divergent validity is present in the data set, we will observe that each item of self-esteem construct will have low correlation with each item of the locus of control construct. This is end of section 4. I hope you were able to get a better understanding about the concept of validity of a measure and different types of validity associated with a measure.